Have you ever wanted to make that howling feedback guitar sound, but you haven't got a guitar? Or you have got a guitar, but you can't be bothered to plug it in, mic it up, turn the amp on, turn it up really loud and make loads of noise and annoy people. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it in Ableton, in the comfort of your own headphones. You don't need to do this in Ableton. You can do it in anything, but you will need a synthesizer with some sine waves um, and you'll probably want some amp simulator software or amp modeling guitar, amp cabinet modeling stuff. So I'm going to do this with operator and by default operator loads with a sine wave, which is good. That's what we want. And we just need to make a few adjustments to some settings. Uh, we want the operator to be this one at the end so that all the oscillators are in parallel. And we want to set an envelope, quite a long envelope. Uh, let's go for like maybe, maybe a second and quite a lot of release too. I'm going to maybe three seconds. Let's see what this is like. Good. Okay, lovely. I'm going to turn the filter off and then I'm going to use oscillator B as my kind of harmonic uh, sort of overtone. <clears throat> I'm going to set the course to uh, maybe three. Okay, uh, that might be a bit high. Anyway, we'll work that out as we go. So I'm now going to use the mod wheel on my keyboard to move between oscillator A and B. So I'll set one to oscillator A volume and the second one to oscillator B volume and I'm going to have them at adjacent values minus 100 and 100. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's basically it. Um, the envelope will copy the envelope from oscillator A. I'll just set this back course to three. Okay, let's listen to that. Okay, now let's get our amp simulator. We're gonna, I'm just going to use Ab uh, Ableton's stock uh, plugins here. So we'll have amp and we'll have cabinet. I'll use the heavy setting. Um, you know, you could play around with this if you want. I generally like to go off axis. Uh, with the dynamic. Uh, let's set this to stereo. Yeah, set them to stereo. Okay, let's see what we get. So what happens is that as you move from one oscillator to another that's tuned slightly differently, you kind of get those overtones and that's what kind of where the signal starts to break up. And when you go into a guitar amp simulator, it sounds very evocative of that howling sound. I'm going to put the pitch, be uh, pitch bend to one so that I can do a little bit of wiggle on the, on the pitch bend as well. We actually want the uh, second oscillator to have a course of two, at least I think that sounds nice, the nicest. And if you have quite a high polyphony, and a long attack and release envelope, then new notes will overlap. Which sounds very feedbacky. In many ways, this is actually more flexible than doing it with a guitar because you've got more control over when and where you want harmonics to happen. Um, and doing feedback guitar can be quite 
unpredictable, which is fun. But sometimes if you're very particular and you want a certain type of harmonic to happen at a certain time, then this is really good because you can automate everything. Let's put some more effects on. Let's put a delay before the amp. And let's put a uh, reverb. Um, let's put the reverb after. Um, the delay will actually create more overtones as we move around between notes and the various oscillators. And the reverb will just make it sound more epic. Let's turn the decay time up to stupid like four seconds and bring the size down a bit. And let's just put a limiter on there just so that if anything gets out of control, it's all okay. Let's have a listen, shall we? So put the LFO to oscillator B so that it sort of goes out of tune a little bit as we crossfade from one oscillator to the other. So I'll set it quite slow, it's about 40, and set this to about 4%. Yeah. See what that's like. <laughs> Let's go a bit higher with that LFO. authentic sounding howling feedback guitar 
with some sine waves and some amp modeling and a little bit of crossfading between two tuned uh, oscillators that are tuned differently. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>